Hi everybody, this is Val and this is Harvest for Jesus 2. Welcome um, and welcome back to any uh, returning subscribers. Um, I know I have a few new subscribers and I uh, just want to say thanks for tuning in. Um, the Lord's been blessing me with some lovely rainbows lately here in Florida. Um, last night uh, the most amazing double rainbow was right over me. Um, after work, I would kind of, you know, it was sunny where I was and I was like driving into this dark cloud and I was like, uh-oh, is this a sign, Lord, that you don't want me in this area? And um, I had just seen a rainbow over where I was staying the other day and I was like, uh-oh, maybe the, you know, it's times have changed and I need to get out of this area. And, um then just as you know totally turned into a rainstorm and then I just had this sneaking feeling like I need to get out of my car and look behind me after a while and there it was right over the car was a double rainbow and it was so beautiful um I don't know if my photo is going to do it any justice or not but um I'll figure out if it's a decent photo whether I should put it up on my um my picture for this video or not but in the last um, month or so I don't know if it's been the month or six weeks or something like that um, I've had probably five different rainbow sightings and I should say rainbow blessings because that's what they are I really feel blessed every time I see one and um, today I also like I this is take two of this video and I saw a pink bird, a rosette spoonbill, and anytime I see one of those, it's a total blessing for me. And then when I see cardinals and, you know, the Lord shows me different things through like birds and nature um, and that kind of thing. And I just love it. So I, I started off today with a nice blessing with the bird, but also I opened scripture and uh, it was talking about being a watchman and I knew that the Lord was showing me that I needed to do a video and it's kind of it's been you know it's been a I haven't been doing a lot of videos since I started working uh, and I I I know that it, it my most important job is to be a watchman and so it's not that um, I'm you know shutting that door and just trying to work that's not it at all um, it's that I just really wait until I have like a full message with lots of little pieces to it. I like, I tend to do longer videos with, you know, where I'm saying a lot rather than a million short videos. And some people are the complete opposite. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> one thing I kept seeing all day today was 101. And 101, I looked it up, uh, and it brought me to Luke 137, where that word is in there. There, The word is impossible, okay? 101 means impossible. And it says, for God, nothing shall be impossible. And that's what many of us need to hear as we're in these difficult seasons if you are anything like me and you're in the wilderness season and you're very your life is very extremely challenging and has been for many many you know seasons here um, this is important scripture let me read it one more time for with God nothing shall be impossible okay and um, the main message I want to say today is you are not your circumstances because with God everything is possible we're in this season and that's what it is it's a season it's a season of trial it's a season of growth it's a season of strength and realizing that we can face our fears and go through it and come out the other end stronger and even though the enemy 
keeps throwing their fiery darts at us from every direction, we have God's protection over us. And, um, you know, they, they can try all they've got. They can try uh, hitting us with gang stalking, hitting us with all of the witchcraft and all of the, you know, uh, lies and deception about us and trying to trip us up in every all these little ways but we know that when we walk with the Lord and he's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he when Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and Father God is your Almighty Father and you live by God's will then nothing can harm you um, you know, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I am under his wing, and He's God has his hand of protection on me, no matter what the enemy enemy's plans are. God laughs at the enemy's plans. We need to remember that. He laughs at the enemy's plans. And so, you know, here's the enemy thinking that, oh, we've got her now, and God's above laughing like, oh, you have no idea what I plan to do with this one or what I plan to do with that one. And, you know, and I'm sure you see it in your own life where um, for many of us, they're probably amazed to even see that we're still alive, that we're still sane, that we're still sober, that we're still, you know, highly functioning um, adults because of all of the stuff that, that, that has been thrown our way. And, um, you know, one thing that I wanted to mention as a watchman, we need to be careful um, about our messages of advice because I've seen from multiple people, um, people that say they are the true watchman because they don't have a full-time job and their job is their channel and, you know, they get all these donations from their channel and they survive on that. Well, you have to understand that not everyone is in that situation. Some of us take my channel, for example, I have 87 subscribers and some of my viewers are very generous and they've helped me. And I would, I don't even know where I'd be without that help, but I would not be able to live on donations from my channel. I have to work right now, you know, and, um, God knows what we need. He knows what each individual needs. It's not a blanket. Everybody who's chosen, you do this right now. No, it's a very individual plan. God knows our strengths and weaknesses. He knows how to heal us. He's our counselor. He's our healer. Okay, I've had a supernatural healing from the Holy Spirit um, that I mentioned in one of my videos. And, you know, I just want to say that we can't tell people not to work, right? Because, for example, in my life, I've been through a lot that you guys have heard me mention many times. You know, so I'll just say from A to Z, I've been through a lot. And right now... You know in this last 10 months since I've been volunteering and working and now the job that I have you know currently it has helped to create a sense of normalcy a um, it has strengthened me it has given me joy connection it has helped me to spread the gospel uh, talk about end times to people um, relate to people better, connect with people better, love my fellow man more. Um, so we need to know that God knows how to refine us. We can't go based on our own knowledge and say everyone needs to just do this or do that or whatever. We need to lean on the Holy Spirit, number one, for all of our advice and um, to guide us and ask to live by God's will, right? Um, now, in saying that, I want to also give another word of caution. Um, 
some channels that I've been watching um, have been given messages that I have also gotten. And I want to be very cautious in saying this, but um, we are entering into the season where things are going to get started very soon as far as uh, the first rapture, the Holy Spirit coming over the chosen, the 144,000 very soon, supernatural things happening, war starting. Now, it could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months. I don't think it's years. I know I've said that many times, but August, September, especially September, I really have got my eye on it, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But I want to tell you to be very cautious. Um, some channels have, have had different um, words about you know, being kidnapped. And I have also had that in my spirit that I need to be very careful and very cautious because I know every single place where I go, they're, they know where I'm at and they're following me and they've got something on me. Every night I go to sleep, I feel it. I feel the pulses. I feel the jolts. I feel the heat. I feel the you know, they mess with my dreams on mo I would say the majority of nights. Um, and so they're following me everywhere I go. They know who I am and we have to be as smart as serpents and as gentle as doves. And you have to be cautious because I think they're going to try to, um, possibly, you know, kidnap some people. And when I went to the Lord for confirmation, I got the Bible page 411, which means what? 411 means information, right? And so it's in 2 Kings 25 verse 13. And the heading of this is vessels carried to Babylon. I'm not going to read like word for word, but it's basically talking about the brass, the silver, and the gold vessels being carried away and stolen and, you know, carried to Babylon. So we are the vessels. We are the brass, the silver, and the gold vessels. And then the next uh, section, as I'm getting down into uh, 2 Kings 25, 18, the heading is priests and officers killed. Now remember, this is when I was getting confirmation from the Lord. The Lord's always showing me what I need to see in the Bible. It, it's always correct. It's always what it's supposed to be. Now, I was also shown that I'm going to be here for my court date, which is mid-August. So I'm going to be here till mid-August, right? Because I have to be there um, to finish my probation. But... Um, after that, you know, it's between me and the Lord, whatever happens after that. I don't give your plans to everybody. Don't, don't tell everybody everything. Don't tell them things on your channel. Be cautious on your channel what you say. Because, um, you know, the enemy thinks they know what's going on. And they've got their plans, but God has his plans. And when you're listening to the Lord, you're going to know what to do. Don't listen to someone's channel to find out what to do. Listen to the Holy Spirit. You need to know how to get confirmation from the Lord, okay? And get multiple confirmations when it's something that's really important. This may be a decision that no one in your life understands or agrees with, but you're being obedient and following the will of God. And stand strong in that and know that um, these are not normal circumstances this is end. these are end times and this is the very end of end times things are getting ready to start now let's talk for a second about dates and times now I'm not trying to date set okay but I want you to know that the Lord has brought a lot of things to my attention. 
So it's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle that are kind of coming together. Now, in a lot of my videos, okay, are different pieces of the puzzle. I've mentioned different scripture, different dreams, uh, different ways that I think time is shortened. So a lot of that I think is kind of coming together, right? And I think for a lot of other channels it is as well. And I've been sharing those videos where I feel like I'm in agreement with them and these pieces of the puzzle are all coming together and I'm in agreement with X, Y, Z. And usually when I'm sharing a video, I'll put like a little few sentences or a paragraph right above it in the ways that, you know, some of my videos are sharing some of the same information that their videos are. For example, uh, Steve at Torah Family just put out a video about the tribulation being cut into one third, time being shortened. I'm in agreement with much of what he says in that video, almost everything, okay? Um, also, there was a video that I just posted today. He was talking um, quite a lot about September. Okay, um, so I'm going to bring a lot of different things that I've mentioned in the past together now without seeing scripture right in front of me, so forgive me, because in the past when I did those particular videos, scripture was right in front of me. And I'm going to kind of try to refer you back to some of those videos, right? So, I believe time is shortened. Scripture says time is shortened. It's not just my belief. Matthew 24, 22. Okay? What does Matthew 24, 22 say? Uh, time is shortened for the elect's sake, otherwise no flesh would be saved. It says, uh, exactly, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay, so, September's important. We know the Revelation 12 sign was September 23rd, 2017. Now, if you take that point as being the beginning of maybe when God said, that's when, that's when end times should begin, and add seven years to that, you get September of 24, right? Now, when we look at the great American, the total solar eclipse across America that happened one month prior which was August 21st of 2017. So that was one arm going across America, total solar eclipse. The second arm that goes across America is supposed to be April 8th of 2024. The days between that beginning and that ending date are 2422 days, like Matthew, 2422. I had a whole video about that. Okay, so that could have been one way God said, well, maybe I'll shorten it that much, right? Now, what about there's another eclipse coming October 14th? So from October 14th to April 8th, there's that time frame. Okay, that could have been another time that was shortened. Well, let's think about enemy messaging. I pet goat for just a second. Let's think about the beginning of I pet goat. It takes place at Emma E. Booker Elementary, which happens to be a school I worked at which is odd in itself, but that's a 9-11 reference. That's where Bush was on 9-11. That's a 9-11 reference. Okay. Um, and Psalms 23 is right there on the wall for 2023. So could it be saying... 9-11 in 2023 
is the beginning of when this whole disaster happens, possibly the tsunami. Who knows? Um, that's right around the corner. That's weeks away. That is like a month and a half away. Okay, some people believe that God was or Jesus, who is God. He's, you know, the, the human form of God. Um, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are God. Some believe he was born on 9-11. I personally believe that. And it, that is when Elul is this year. Okay. Let there be light. Jesus is the light of the world. He's the light. Okay. And when Jesus is within us and we have the light, we have the Holy Spirit. Okay. Jesus had the double portion after he was baptized and the dove, the Holy Spirit dove came upon him. Then he did miracles. Is it at a lul where we get the double portion? I don't know. That's a possibility. 9-11. Maybe. I know that in my tsunami dreams, I have... That is when we changed. That is when the, the, our body started glowing. We started raising up above the water. We were in the water. A tsunami had already hit. Then we changed right after that. Like out of the water, we started raising up out of the water. Okay. Just saw 144 on the video. Um, so there's that month before the Revelation 12 sign. The total solar eclipse happened almost a month before the Revelation 12 sign. Is something going to happen a month before transformation? Are we going to have great tribulation? Is it all going to happen in a day? I don't know. Are things going to happen in August? Are things going to happen in September? I don't know. I just know it's extremely high watch. So I'm not really like saying what date. I'm saying this is a window of time to really look at. Okay. And be cautious. Be cautious. If you're a targeted individual, if you're a 144K, if you are a Christian, just everybody, we need to be cautious right now. These are end times. Christians will be persecuted. Now, all right, what I want to also say, I want to talk about how time is short, and I kind of started talking about that, and I want to continue to discuss that. In the past, I've mentioned a year of recompense. I have a, a video called Year of Recompense. A year is referenced over and over, okay? This is what I think. I think tribulation started March, mid-March, okay? You could say March 11th, March 13th, 2020. Some people are doing day counts from March 11th and they're going to March, I'm sorry, August 22nd and that's 1260 days. August 22nd. That's interesting. That's an interesting day, isn't it? That's like a day after the total solar eclipse hit. Okay. So, August 22nd is definitely high watch. Now, the 1200, like a month later, is the 1290 day count. That's going to be around September 25th. Feast of Trumpets. Okay, or like in that range. I'm not exactly sure the exact date. I think it might be the 22nd. It's actually September 22nd, which is the fall equinox, which is when all of the pyramids align with the Ryan's Belt constellation at the equinox. And some people believe that is when the gates of heaven, the doors of heaven open. Some people say that it opens twice a year, 
on the two equinoxes. Fall equinox and spring equinox. Is that possibly when things are going to happen? Okay. Now, the whole year reference also, don't forget, end times is supposed to be like the days of Noah. They were on the ark for 370 days. There's lots of different day references. Um, in Ezekiel, um, I forgot Ezekiel. Ezekiel is such a huge book. Um, there are some day counts in there where it's 40 days and then it's 390 days for a total of 430 days. Okay, again, just over a year. And of course, I didn't flag it, which is my bad. And I had a whole video about that, though. Okay, so I just, I don't want to go into too, I don't want to get lost in Ezekiel right now. But again, Ezekiel is talking about that 390 days and 40 days to be 430 days. That reminds me of 430 years that the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Okay, so there's, you know, there's connections. Um, also, my Yahweh video talked about Yahweh, the letters, also have a number value. Okay, it's 10, 5, 6, 5. Y, H, W, H. 10, 5, 6, 5. If you put those numbers together, that's 10,565. Well, guess what? That is 10,565 hours equals 440 to 441 days. Daniel's day count the 1,335 days, one third of that is 440. I keep coming to this just over a year number. And remember 441 backwards is 144, 144,000. So could God Almighty be shortening time to just over a year, could it be 440 to 441 days, depending on where you are on the earth? Possibly. Could it be just five months? Some people believe it's five months. Okay, and that could be the 153 days. It could be the 150 days plus three days of darkness before. Um, so there are a lot of possibilities and I like to look at all of them. I've mentioned all of them in my past videos. Be open to it because nobody knows everything. There's so many watchmen out there that are just like, it's seven years, it's seven years, it's going to end in 2030. And I'm like, first of all, If we know the exact end date, that's predictable. God is unpredictable. He doesn't want us to know exactly when things end. No one knows the end date. No one knows the end date. The beginning date um, is a set time, date, and hour. Okay? The end date, no one knows. Not even the angels. So I just like to look at scripture, piece things together you know, and just make connections, right? I like to talk about dates. So enough about that. Let's just kind of revisit um, what I think is really the number one message today. And that is what the Lord gave me all day before the video. And that was 101, which I got Luke 137 for with God, nothing shall be impossible. We need to remember that. We need to remember that God created 
the end at the beginning. He knows how this is going to end. We need to have total faith and just, you know, faith in the Lord, faith in God's plan, um, live by God's will, no matter if it's difficult. And, you know, God laughs at the enemy's plans. We need to laugh at the enemy's plans. And remember that God's people will not be ashamed. They will be ashamed. They will be ashamed for all the gang stalking, all the witchcraft, all the persecution, all of the childish games that they play to destroy lives. And you, because you believed in the Lord, you had faith in the Lord, you believed that true wisdom is fear of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. And then you stayed on your walk. You were an overcomer, okay? Anyone who's a targeted individual is an overcomer. You overcome every single day. There are so many people that take their lives that go to jail. There are so many people that take their lives that are targeted. People either go one way or another, you know, and... I, I just want to say that even one of the girls that I work with, she recently um, was told that the business was closing. Not where I work, but it's a business that's connected in the same building. <clears throat> she was told she has one more month and then her job ends. Well, in the past, she thought that she was always going to have this job. And she's a Christian. She has very strong faith. She's been feeling suicidal, okay? We need to really, really lean on the Lord in these dark, difficult times because life can be scary. Life can be difficult. The enemy can attack us from every different direction, try to destroy us, destroy our families, destroy our finances, our homes, our relationships. But again, what did God keep bringing me to all, all day today before the video? 101. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Everything that the enemy has tried to steal from you, the Lord is going to revive, renew everything that the canker worm and the, you know, all these, all these attacks, all these things that were stolen, it will be given back a hundredfold when you're working with the Lord, when you're working by God's will. Okay. So remember that and keep your chin up, you know, Hey, if I can live in a Camry, right? I can live in the Camry for five months and uh, be go to jail, <laughs> go to the state hospital, lose my home that was paid for, um, lose all my friends, my relationships, basically everyone in my life except for like maybe two people, um, and still be happy and full of faith and know that we have so many blessings ahead of us and see the blessings now. See the rainbow, see the birds, see the dog, see the beautiful people that you work with, see nature that God created and the beauty, see the food that we eat every day, see just, you know, like the Lord just praise and worship music. The beauty that is around us is everywhere. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on the immature, evil gang stalkers. God will take care of them. Focus on the spiritual. Focus on what's inside. You know, it's like this car. This car is a Camry, but this car is my home. I put up the, the window things and I get 
you know, I get this, you know, Christian worship music going and I get in my head and I start thinking about the Lord and what's to come and what he's shown me in scripture and promises in scripture. And it's just, and that, you know, connection that I have with the Lord at night where I really try to get close to God and close to Father God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And I just, you know, get in the zone and, and then you get into the spiritual. So, you know, take yourself out of your circumstances. You are not your circumstances. This is all temporary. You and the light that is within you and the Holy Spirit that's within you, that is the real you, right? All those, all that refining that God has done. You, even though like you're sitting in a Camry or you're sitting in a tent or maybe you're sitting in wherever you're at, you are like fine wine that's on the shelf. God's been refining you like fine wine. You know, your time to shine will come. And for some of you, that is literal. Literally, your time to shine is coming. Okay, your time to fly is coming. And on that note, I'll, I'll tell you about a dream I had. It was just a really quick glimpse of a dream but um, I had white, huge wings and I was flying. And I mean, I was like flapping those wings and I was flying over this ocean and it was really cool. It was just awesome. Like some of us are literally going to fly and have wings. So um, remember how blessed you are. Don't, don't think about just today. Think about the big picture. Okay. All right. That's it for today. God bless and be well.